Hello and welcome. My name is Travis Floor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install QGIS. So let's get started. Installing QGIS on uh, Windows is quite simple. I happen to have Windows 8 on my machine. It won't matter if you have Windows 7 or not. However, what we need to go and do to install this is determine whether your computer is 64-bit or 32-bit because that will change which install package you use. To find that out, if you go to your computer and right click and go to properties, a window will come up such as this one and we're going to look for system type. And if you look here, mine is 64-bit operating system times 64 based processor. So I'm running a 64-bit system. If, you're, if it says 32-bit, then you'll uh, download a 32-bit file from the COPS website. So here I downloaded uh, both of them just to show you uh, the naming. So 64-bit has the underscore 64 at the end and 32-bit has nothing past the x86. Since I have 64-bit, I'm just going to simply double click on the QGIS OSGO 4W with the underscore 64 at the end. And it's warning me that it's an unknown publisher, and that's okay. Uh, they're a creditable source, so you won't get any malware or viruses. Um, but it's just not something that's registered with Windows. So click Yes. And then they will have a uh, setup wizard, as you can see here. And we're just going to go through and follow the defaults for all of the program. So we'll click Next. Click I Agree. Again, leave the default here. Click Next. You can select certain components to install if you wish. Um, for, for instance, they have some sample data sets if you want to install them. I don't really want them on my machine, so that's okay. So then I'm just gonna click Install. And it's gonna run through uh, this for quite a bit. And then at the end, uh, we'll have be finished. Here we are, we're finished. 
now that we're back. Uh, so I cut away there for a second because uh, it just took a really long time. But really, you should just be seeing um, the progress bar moving uh, with all black text, no errors. And then we're here, and so we can click Finish. That's it. QGIS is now installed. Uh, what I like to do is I really like to go and open QGIS up just to make sure it works. And so what I do is I go to the QGIS desktop icon here, 2.8.2. Double click. And you can now see that uh, QGIS has been installed right here. And so uh, we'll be using this throughout the semester. Look forward to working with you. Thanks.